Hi. Hello. Hola. Bonjour. Ni hao. Konnichiwa. Guten Morgen. And a good old fashioned good day to you. I'm Auntie Toya from Fast Lunas on the beautiful island of Trinidad in the Caribbean. And I would like to welcome you to our word of the day circle time. Welcome. We like to start our day off singing our hello song. Come and join us. Hello to everyone. And how are you today? We've come here to circle time to learn and laugh and play. And when we're up, we're up. And when we're down, we're down. And when we're up, we up, we up. We're neither up nor down. So roll it on so slowly. And roll it all so fast. And give yourselves a clap, clap, clap. And put it on your lap, tap, tap. Awesome. Let's say good morning to all our family and friends. Let's say good morning, beautiful people. Now you try. Good morning, beautiful people. Awesome. Very well. Let's start with our mindful minute. It just means that we can close our eyes, say our prayer, our school prayer, which is Father, we thank you, or take some meditative breaths, which is breathing deeply in through our nose and out through our nose. This morning, let's take some deep breaths in, clear ourselves up. So all we need to do, close our eyes, breathe in and out through our nose, right? Really deeply, let's go. Great job. How about we check in now with our feelings? Let's sing our feelings song. Let's go. <clears throat> we got so many feelings in our heart. We've 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 got shy feelings in our heart. We've got embarrassed feelings in our heart. We've got bored feelings in our heart. We've got so many feelings in our heart. But we've got excited feelings in our heart. We've got scared feelings in our heart. We've got worried feelings in our heart. We've got so many feelings in our heart. Let's check in and see how we're feeling today. Today, I feel excited. We're going to learn about recycling today. Did you know that you can take a used beverage bottle, that's something that you drink from, and actually break it down to make something new again? That's amazing. So. Let's put excited Edna up on the board and get ready for our day. So now that we're ready to start our day, let's start by saying our days of the week song. You know what to do. You can cluck. You can snap. You can clap. Let's go. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, Tuesday and there's Wednesday, Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 <laughs> Great job, everybody. What day is it? Is it Wednesday still? That was yesterday. Let's change our board. So we know that yesterday was Wednesday. So today is Thursday. And tomorrow will be Friday, Friday. So today is Thursday, today is Thursday. Happy all day, 
happy all day yesterday was wednesday tomorrow will be friday hip hip hooray hip hip hooray what's our weather forecast for thursday well it started off partly cloudy it got really sunny and then all of a sudden it was rainy it's crazy what a crazy day we're having let's put it up on the board and what does that mean for our number of the day is our number of the day still four that was yesterday let's change our board our number today is the number seven five on one hand two on the other seven seven let's put it up okay but we have four partly cloudy skies up on our board not seven do we need to add or subtract to get to seven hmm we have four i think we need a couple more to get to seven let's see how many we need look at that we only needed three more partly cloudy skies to make seven from the four we had before. Good counting everyone. Let's check it again and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome job. Let's move on now to our letter and word for the day. Our letter of the day is the letter R. 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 Anyway, this is the uppercase R and our lowercase R. Our letter R is very fun. Let's see what else. Let's run, run, run. Let's put it up on the board. R. R, my mateys. Okay, so we've got our letter R today. Let's see how many friends we know whose names begin with the letter R. Hi, Reese. Hi, Rishi. Hi, Richard. Hi, Rayon. Hi, Reggie. Hi, Reagan. Hi, Rosemary or Rose. Hi, Raquel. Hi, Rayan. Hi, Renee. Hi, Reshma. Hi, Ria. It's good to say hi to all you guys. Hi. Let's think of some countries that begin with the letter R. There's Romania, Russia, Rwanda, cities like Rio de Janeiro. And right here in Trinidad, there's Rampanalgas, Rio Claro, Rusilac, and Roxborough in Tobago. <laughs> so we've got some lovely R places as well. And some animals now, why? A raccoon, a rhinoceros, a rabbit, a rat, a raven, a robin, and things, lovely beautiful things that begin with the letter R. Rainbow, a rake, a rocket, and some rice. Lovely things begin with the letter R, and I'm so glad you went through them with me. So now that we've recalled or the things we know that begin with the letter R, what's our word for the day? It's reuse. You know that. We've been doing the three R's for in recycling. We've done reduce, today's reuse, and tomorrow we talk a little bit more about the actual recycling. So today we wanna to talk about reuse. Let's put it up on the board and get to it right away. So what does it mean to reuse? Well, to reuse means to use something again, to keep using it again, like our cup or our plate. Those are things that we reuse. Also, reuse can mean that we take something old and make it into something new. Let's think about that. Some things that we can reuse at home may very well be mm, a plastic bag that you got from the supermarket, 
you can probably use that to put garbage in afterwards to throw away. Another good idea is to keep using our washable mugs and cups or even if you are using a disposable or a plate that you can throw away or cup you can throw away, maybe you can still wash it and use it a couple more times before you throw it out. That's another good idea. Well, I'm so excited to announce that Swim Call, remember we spoke about them, Trinidad's Solid Waste Management Company Limited actually has the first beverage container recycling facility in the English speaking Caribbean. So thumbs up to Swim Call, they're doing a great job taking all our empty water bottles, plastic bottles, um, glass or can drinks and they're recycling it into making something new. Let's find out a little bit more about that. Let's see if I can explain the whole process because everyone wants to know what happens to our plastic bottles when we throw them away from our house in the garbage truck to the dump or landfill as we say and then it may be removed from there and taken to the beverage recycling treatment plant. From there, the guys sort and squish the bottles into bales. And when it's ready, they unbale them and they sort them, remove all the covers and the rings and the little plastic off of it. They take all of that, what they call non-PET material. After they've cleaned it up and it's just the raw plastic bottle, it gets ground up in a process into tiny little pieces. It's then put into a sink float device that helps cleanse it and separates it. Then it gets put through a hot wash and a cold wash. Then they are dried and separated, all the little flakes, and then it's even air blown and after that they have all these fresh clean flakes of plastic to be used again to be for sale how amazing is that i mean can you imagine being able to make plastic wow hey guess what i have an idea let's make our own plastic as well Let's reuse something that we have and make it into something new using milk and vinegar. This is an awesome experiment that I got from howwelearn.com. So I will make sure and tag them in the post below. A wonderful science experiment for kids about how to make plastic from milk. Let's do it. So check out our next video to see exactly how to turn milk into plastic check back and see if you actually tried the experiment and see how yours comes out because I'm going to try it and I'm going to show you exactly how you can make milk from plastic. So much more to do, so much more to learn, but let's move on to complete the rest of our board. Is our color of the day yellow? No. It's blue. Our color is blue today. Our color is blue today as we represent for our swim call, our solid waste management company limited. So let's put our blue up on the board. Do you wanna check out just a couple more things that are blue? Okay. All right, that's enough. <laughs> let's move on. Our shape of the day is a circle. It's round, round and round. How about we put it up on the board? Let's see what other things we can think of that are circles. Great job. You really know your stuff. Well, that's it. We've come to the end of our circle time board for the day. Thank you so much for coming and staying with me all the way to the end. So don't forget to like, don't forget to make sure your parents are subscribed to get the videos every day. So long, farewell to you and you and you. Bye.